Okay, not sure if this is going to work, but I'm just going through the setup process. Uh, one thing you need to know is that you actually do need to download some software. So I'm just downloading the software now, um, trying to get it installed. And basically what we're seeing then, here's the Simutext setup wizard, accepting the agreement and and just following through, clicking install. So hopefully this will give me access and hopefully it'll give you access when you do it to all of the assignments for the semester. I have never used these materials personally. So this is an ecology class. These are interactive chapters and interactive uh, labs that are simulations. So I don't know, the, the big unknown for me is how long will all of this take? Basically, I chose a topic each week. I made it due by 10 o'clock p.m. Friday night, and we can discuss as to whether that's not the best time or something, but I figure you have all week to work on it, and Friday night, 10 p.m., that's when it's due. Um, and then you can start to work on the next section. So, like I said, I don't know how long it's all going to take. I also don't know if we need to do any supplemental testing uh, beyond just the assignments that are online already with the Simutext. That's something that I haven't worked out yet. So I apologize that things are a little bit sketchy and that you might feel a little bit like uh, guinea pigs here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the software, view the readme file, and I, the, mine's probably going to be a little different than yours because mine's the instructor um, preview thing. Okay, I had to do a password reset, but I now have opened up the software, and here you see it. Biogeography, climate change, community dynamics, competition, evolution for ecology. These are the subjects that we are going to be going through week by week and there's one subject due per week and within a subject there are four or five sections typically and this is going to take some time and this isn't something to do on your phone is my guess this is something you're going to have to download stuff each time and hopefully the downloading like I just clicked on the section one for biogeography and it's downloading a zip file. So I'm already I'm already guessing that we're gonna have some issues here. And if we need to set up computers and labs where this material can be downloaded, maybe we can do that, I don't know. But uh, here I've downloaded it and it just popped up, so that's good. Bolt from the blue, the age of the dinosaurs ended about 65.5 million years ago and, and talks a little bit about that and it's page one of 22 and I see little pop outs uh, with some links to papers um, okay and here's a pop out link to Stephen Jay Gould who's very very well known uh, evolutionary biologist slash paleontologist he wrote prolifically uh, in Natural History Magazine, and then a lot of his stuff was compiled into books. Uh, plus, he wrote uh, Full House, The Spread of Excellence from Plato to Darwin, and other things. So, anyway, a little tidbit about him. All right, so we go to the next thing, and we read, and we go to the next thing, and we read, and how many species are there, and species richness varies systematically, and we look at patterns across the, the globe. Um, we see a few questions. What determines how many species live in a particular area? Why do some regions have more species than others? Uh, is there any limit to the number of species the Earth can support? We see some questions. We don't see, you know, any given answers. Biogeographic realms and regions. I'm just flipping through really quickly to see. And here's a question where we actually do have to give an answer. Make a prediction. How many photo quadrats should you take in order to estimate the alpha diversity of an under underwater rock wall? Um, constructing accumulation curves 
and here we can sample we can this is where it starts to get more interactive we're actually going to uh, do some simulated sampling and and your results will not be the same because not everybody's going to take uh, the same sample and um, so these we're, we're taking different samples across I'm not watching to see how I'm actually supposed to do this uh, but you know some questions about it um, you can plot results I didn't record my results apparently um, more sample collecting it's it's what it's doing is it's walking you through a process of what would actually happen in a field study and you're going to collect data and you're going to plot the data and you're going to, be going to analyze it and try to make some inferences try to understand some things based on the data that you collect and um, lots of terms gamma diversity for example highlighted and we get a little pop-out box just you know just explaining those terms okay um, notes you can highlight things you can write notes yourself uh, questions you can see which questions this is just section one and <laughs> section one remember it had 22 pages and on several of the pages there are questions that I'm supposed to address there are four sections total so already what I'm saying to myself is this is going to take quite a while okay I'm going to be working through these just like you're going to be working through these and so I'm going to get a better sense of how long it's going to take I'm also going to make my teenage son work through these uh, so that I get a better sense of how long does it take for somebody who's never done ecology stuff before he's just gonna love Jimmy for that so um, anyhow we'll just see as we go along how long it takes I think it's gonna take quite a while this is a, a four credit hour class I think uh, it, so it's it's a lot of work I remember ecology class being a lot of work uh, it, the troubles that I ran into was I didn't have a, a, a strong math background it was strange for me to be taking the natural world and trying to apply mathematical models to it trying to uh, make predictions based on these models plot the data that sort of thing uh, hopefully this is going to work smoothly from a technological standpoint and you can gain some good insights the other thing about this is that um, you know we want to have some online discussion some contact with other students uh, we can meet in person for those who can or want to uh, it's a small group of us we're all going to be facing the same challenges let's work together let's communicate openly use the discussion board on blackboard use emails uh, texts whatever it takes uh, come see me in person and and let's just see how this goes step one is simply getting registered on the site downloading the software uh, whether you buy from the bookstore a voucher or whether you purchase directly from the publisher which is is cheaper either one should work and hopefully you know the start of start of school uh, Tuesday everybody will magically be up and running and and you'll be on your way good luck and be in touch because you were going to be running into some challenges. Thanks.